not done a video in so long, I know, but okay. So here's the life update. <laughs> um, what was it like two weeks ago, maybe, or a week, whatever. Anyway, it was one Saturday. I got a call or my husband got a call that my mother-in-law was having problems breathing. She's had to have surgery on her throat several times. So it's, you know, we're, we're quite used to this. This would be like a seventh or eighth time that they would go in with a laser and perform some surgery on her. So uh, the home where she's at requested that we take her into the specialist and see if this would be an appropriate time for her to have that particular surgery again. So that's what we did. I took her to the specialist and the specialist is like, look, you know what? This is really hard to do with people that have Alzheimer's. We wanna uh, you know, cut down on the number of times that we have to do surgery on them and knock them out. So I'm going to refer you to another specialist who does what I do in a different way with like outpatient treatments. Um, and that might be better because we don't have to put her under. So I had to take a day off of school to, to do that and to take her to that doctor. And then I got a call and take another day off of school to take her to the other doctor. But it's supposed to be like, she gets it done, we're good, right? Well, they numb her throat, they numb her nose to put a camera down there so they can see what they're doing, but she's still awake. She can't feel anything, but she's still awake. And because she has Alzheimer's, she can't remember why she's there. She doesn't think she needs surgery. She can't remember to breathe. She passes out. Like she completely passes out. There's no possible way. She is very, she's under a lot of stress. It, it was horrible. Let, let's just go with it was horrible. It was horrible to be there. It was a horrible situation. The doctor felt terrible. It's not the doctor's fault at all. Uh, I felt terrible um, because I'm the one that brought her to the doctor. Has just been a thing. So she is gonna have to have surgery again. She's gonna have to have surgery next week. Um, another day off of school for me to take her. It's gonna be a five hour long surgery and possibly outpatient. And the hospital where she's going to have to go for this particular surgery is an hour away from our house. So I'm a little stressed about this. You know, I'm gonna end up spending the whole day at the hospital and she might come home and she might not, depending on her mental state when she wakes up, if it's safe to drive her, safe for her, safe for me, the whole thing. So that's why I haven't been filming videos. Meanwhile, my dad is, you don't spend enough time with me, you need to do. Making my own food is like really taxing, I get really tired, you need to be doing writing on, I can't write, I need you to write on pictures for me, I need you to do this, we need to print things out, like, but it's all stuff that's like, I don't want to say it's unimportant because it's important to him, but it's all things that in the whole scheme of things, like, am I going to take my daughter to a birthday party and let her spend time with her friends? Or am I going to write on the back of pictures of vegetables? Because he doesn't take pictures of people. He takes pictures of vegetables, pictures of vegetables and say, this vegetable was grown in 1993, you know? Uh, I can't justify it and I you know still have some resentment for the way he treated my mom before she passed so it's just been a mess you guys it has been a mess and I don't see it getting any easier but I did not forget about creating videos matter of fact I have pulled out of my stash of bags my speedy 20 this is a bag that I love, um, but I just don't reach for as much as I probably should. So I've been given her a little TLC. I'm stuck trying to figure out like what bag I'm going to take to the hospital because the hospital is not in the best neighborhood, but the hospital is really nice and really swanky. Um, but again, it's not in the best neighborhood. I don't know. I don't know. Um, plus, what if my mother-in-law like throws up all over my stuff? I should probably take the Lululemon bag, but I definitely need a bag that can hold like cords and batteries and all that fun stuff. So I'm not entirely sure what I'm gonna do. The point is that the Speedy 20 is such a great bag. I sold my Nano Speedy when I got this because I felt that they just looked too similar. And people mistook the, the Nano Speedy for the Speedy 20. And I was like, well, this is ridiculous. I shouldn't have both in my collection. And the Nano Speedy just didn't have the functionality that this one does. 
It does have the detachable strap. I ended up selling the guitar strap that originally came with this bag and putting on this strap from my multi-pochette. I love this strap. Uh, I also sold the little coin purse because I just didn't like the look of that at all. But the Speedy 20 is big enough that it could be an everyday bag and yet small enough that it doesn't get in the way when you're trying to maneuver around, get stuff done. It's got the top handles. This is the untreated leather. And I, like I said, I take this to the pool. I don't have bags that I baby in that sense. And I'm sure it does have water spots. Actually it doesn't. Okay, it doesn't have water spots. But um, I really love, oh, there's a water spot right there. There's one right there, right there. Uh, it doesn't bother me. I buy these bags to use and I love the look of lived in, spotted, um, used leather. I think that that is beautiful. So it doesn't bother me at all. Uh, this is a bag that I would consider even taking to the hospital with me because this is the right size. This is the perfect size. Uh, it's a crossbody bag. It's a top handle bag. I think that, that makes it so much more versatile when I'm just running, like I'm gonna run to my car to get my daughter to swim in a little bit. I just, right on my arm. They've now come out with this in the Damier e Bean, which I will not be purchasing because I already have a Damier e Bean, but I love this bag. You should get a Speedy 20, for sure. <laughs>